This week on Dear Bros, it ain't official till it's Facebook official. Oh, fuck. Stay, <laughs> stay tuned. You're listening to Bro Down Podcast all fucking day. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Dear Bros. Hi. I just got... <clears throat> wrong hole. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Andy's dying over here. Welcome back to the Bro Down Podcast. I'm Tim Fulton. That's Andy Smith. <clears throat> this is Dear Bros, a little segment where we rip advice column questions off of the internet and we answer them ourselves because no one will ask us questions personally. And I'm offended by that. Uh, it's Tim's turn. Tim, what do you got? Oh, it ain't you. official till it's Facebook official. Andy, you good to go? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, thank God. <laughs> yeah, I was struggling. Me, I was in the struggle bus. <laughs> me talking to myself this entire time would be a little depressing. All right, so the actual title of this one is called Man's Relationship Status, Dismays Longtime Girlfriend. Dear Abby, dear bros, dear Abby, I've been living with my boyfriend, Dan, for 15 years. He has always worked. He doesn't hit me. If he's mad, he lets... Wait, wait, wait a minute. I was going to stop it in a second. Let me do this one sentence. He, if he's mad, he lets go easy and doesn't dwell on stuff. In parentheses, I can't say the same about me. In parentheses, <laughs> so, so terrible. So right off the bat, we know that this girl's requirements for a relationship is he works, he doesn't hit me. This has to be a, <laughs> this has to be a southern state. <laughs> I'm sorry, it has, it has to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be Florida or, or Jersey. Or, but, yeah, or Jersey. But if if you if you're like you're dating some what are their good qualities and you're like, "Well, he works and he doesn't hit me." <laughs> like, and then she puts in parentheses, "I can't say the same about me." Did she just admit like, to is beating? Is that the bar? Is that the bar? That's the bar. <laughs> Non-physically abusive <laughs> of hitting. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. I'm gonna like this one. <laughs> Here's the issue: on his Facebook profile in the relation relationship status section, he states that he's single. Other times, he has used open relationship or it's complicated. We've been together way too long for him to write stuff like that. <laughs> okay. I love him, but I don't want a future of living with this for my man. I feel like I'm <laughs> wasting <laughs> precious years. Life goes by so fast, I'm thinking about leaving him. What does he mean by doing that? Can you advise me, Abby? Taken from Georgia! <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> what the fuck did I say? Uh, I hate that that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, was ho- I was really hoping it was like Maine if or we, fucking Montana. If we break up, it'll be really awkward since I will still see him at family gatherings. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I thought- <laughs> no, that, one, that part's not real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, can you, uh, can you scroll down? Yeah. I love him, but I don't see a future living this from a man. I feel, <laughs> I feel like I'm in. wasting precious years. Life goes by fast. She's just kind of rambling at this point. I'm thinking about leaving him. What does he mean by doing that? Can you advise me, Abby? Okay. So in an attempt to take this as seriously as humanly possible. I can't. <laughs> yeah. No, all right. In an attempt to take this as seriously as possible, he does go out of his way to say he's single. It's not like it's not on there. It, he says he's single, and he's changed it before to open relationship. That's and, what, that's what gets me. Yeah, and it's complicated. They've been dating for fifteen years. Yeah. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. Now, let me ask you a question. Shoot. So, are we assuming that this is fifteen consecutive years? That's a great question. So let me ask you, let me, let me follow that up. If your friend is dating someone and you are a quote fly in the wall, um, I don't know why I said quote, uh, I'm trying to sound smart over here. I almost died from coughing. Um, <laughs> if you are a fly in the wall and you're observing two people together, yeah, long term relationship, yep. but it's on and off, yeah, and when they break up, yeah. If someone changes their profile from either in a relationship or single to it's complicated, would you consider that more respectable or less respectable? Let me rephrase that. If you're in a relationship and you have your friend has their their thing as in a relationship and they break up with their significant other and they're 
somebody that puts a lot of stock in what other people think, so they immediately go to Facebook and change their fucking relationship status. Yep. Would you think it would be worse if they said single or it's complicated? Depends on the person. When I see it like that, if they say it's complicated, that to me says it flip of a coin, but either A, they're broken up, but they're working on it kind of thing, or B, they can't let it go. Yeah. Because I've seen people do both. But here's the thing. Look at it from how – this is something how everyone, I don't think, looks at it as the way that it's actually portrayed is that – your Facebook status, whatever, it's really not for you. It's, it's for, for everybody else. else, right? So if you put it's complicated, you're essentially letting everyone else know that you're not single. Yeah, that's a fair point. And that you're not like, hey, listen, like I'm not single. So don't like just know that I'm not single. Yeah. It's complicated. Whereas if you're with someone you put and you break up, you're like, hey, I'm single now. It's, I almost think that from an outside person who doesn't really give two fucks about Facebook statuses, uh, if you're putting it's complicated, you're almost trying to still give off the vibes of like, I'm not available. Yeah. Right? I, no, I agree with that. I whole, wholeheartedly agree with that. But the weird thing is, is that he's he keeps that he's like, if he never changed his status, I would just say be like, he doesn't care about yeah, he Facebook. Yeah, he doesn't care about that shit. And he doesn't change it. But because he... Puts like, what does he say? Open relationship and and. Well, here here's my speculation going into play here, like you said before, and it didn't hit me until you said it. Fifteen years. I'm gonna say it's fifteen consecutive years, but maybe they weren't together throughout the whole thing. That's what I mean. Yeah. So month here, six months there. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe they had a weekend or a week where they broke up, and he. Decide one week, one time he decides. You know what? I really want to work I'm gonna on this. I'm going to be petty. I'm in an open relation, or I. It's complicated. The other week he's like, you know what? I do want to play the fucking field. Open relationship. Let's yeah. see what I can get. Yeah. Which is not healthy. No, it's not healthy. And to go back to single, that's weird. Yeah. So that's a conscious effort. I think that because he actually takes the time to change it, he's in the wrong as far as. That goes if he's with her. I agree. Now, here's the other thing. If you scroll up to the top so we don't misquote something we're known for. So he, if he's mad, he lets go easily and doesn't dwell on stuff. I can't say the same about me. <clears throat> okay. So you're saying he thinks that things aren't big deals. Yeah. Okay. So... Maybe he just is very like, I don't think things are a big deal. I don't think this is a big deal. Maybe he's a goofy dude who does goofy shit. We don't know. Yeah. She seems to hold grudges, self-admittedly, or whatever that means, right? She doesn't let things go easily. She dwells. Yeah. Okay? Which is what it sounds like she's doing here. I mean, if you're together for 15 years and you got questions. Yeah. I, and to back that up. She said on his uh, Facebook profile and res relationship status section, he states that he's single. Other times he has used open relationship or it's complicated. Facebook's been around for a long time, and they've been dating for a long time. So if we think she doesn't let things go, again, purely speculating. Yeah, how who, long ago did he change long, status? Was this in like 15, 14 and a half years ago? This, this could have literally been 2010 when he was a goofy kid. And, like, they're older now. Yeah. Maybe he just doesn't give a shit about updating Facebook. Who who knows? Yeah, th there is a lot of things in here that I don't think it's... It might ne not necessarily be on purpose because she is being a little bit humble where she says, I can't say the same about me. She is being humble. But there's also a lot left omission-wise because she's not giving, like, dates. When, yeah. you're, when you're talking about, like, a year relationship, you're like... It, it matters, but it doesn't matter as much like timeline wise. Yeah. But when you're talking about a decade and a half, who knows when this occurred? Yeah. Like, are you holding on to something like with that comment that happened six months ago, six years ago, 12 years ago? Yeah. Like, when did it happen? Yeah, I agree. Because our advice would change depending on that time frame. If he did this within the course of the past year, that's one thing. If those changes happened five years ago, that's another thing. If they happened 10 years ago, that's completely other, other I, different I also thing. do find it very, very, very 
strange that she makes it a point to state that he doesn't hit her. Yeah. Like, is that but, like, he doesn't hit me. No, maybe, to be fair to her, maybe she had an issue with that in the past. Maybe. I just think it's weird that, like, she didn't mention, like, she just, she put that in by itself. She did put that in by itself, but I'm going with she probably had an issue with that in the past. Or so. maybe she, it's like, a, like, normal. Where she's from? Yeah. Yeah, that could be too. Uh, I know it's a weird one and we joked it off because it's a weird one. But I just, I just, it just was so, like, thrown in there, like. <laughs> like yeah, like he he works a full time jo- job and he likes dogs. Like, okay. oh, those are good qualities. Those are good qualities. Um, and he doesn't hit me. Yeah. So from now on, whenever we read anything, we're gonna have to be like, but do they hit you? Do they hit know. you? We don't know it. Did you die? <laughs> Did he stab you? No. So, yeah, I think that uh, fifteen years. I mean, if you don't know or have it figured out by now. I feel like you should know. I was going to say. It's 15, not five years. It's not eight years. 15, 15 years. You guys haven't had the where are we going with this conversation. Because you're not only that. They're on the Facebook status point. Yeah. Like 15 years in. That's like, like five month in status thing. 15 years in. You would think you would know like roughly like are we going to get engaged when is it going to happen when do you want to get married do you want to get married is this going to be our life together as single people because some people prefer that you would think that they would have had that level of discussion at some point in 15 years yeah the fact that they're completely single and she doesn't bring up this is like our plan that's weird that's weirder to me yeah it, it's it's more concerning that they're they're on the Facebook status portion, yeah. uh, like that's where they are. They're, that stuff is like way way down early on. Like when you look at the chrono, chrono chronology of like the chronologically fr- chronologically, but chronology is a word, right? I don't know. Yeah, it sounds like one, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, so <laughs> Professor Smith over here. Yeah, yeah, I, I read books once. Uh, when you look at it that way, this, that's like in the very beginning. And I feel like if you've been together for 15 years, you were at least 15. At least at the very minimum 15 when you got together. So you're at least 30 now. Yeah. And I feel like at 30, if you're worried about a Facebook status driving a wedge in between your relationship of 15 years, it's done. You don't have confidence yeah. in it. It's I done. I, I, agree, I agree with you. I think the bigger question is where are you guys realistically in real life? Like you have to know where you are in real life. Well, when you know, I don't care about the Facebook stuff. You'd be confident in what you are, but you have to know what you are. If, you're, if this is making you I, – I agree with you. If yeah. this is making you second-guess things, there's a problem. Yeah. 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 So our advice, what did she actually ask? Is there anything I can do to fix this? What does he mean by doing that? Can you advise me? Uh, And she's thinking about leaving him. What he means by doing that, I don't know. Maybe he's a little immature. Maybe he doesn't really know. Maybe he doesn't take it seriously because it doesn't sound like a very serious we, Again, it ch- it, it changes depending yeah, on so the I don't, situation. I don't know if we can a- we can realistically answer can it. Can you advise me? Uh, yeah, get out. I say get out. Yeah, you're not gonna because it's been 15 years and you're worried about a Facebook status. And I get it. I totally get it. But if you asked, you asked. So I'm gonna say it. All right, get out. Let's see what the what's yours. Uh, same thing. I go back to. All of these people, 90% of them can be resolved through a conversation. Talk to the man. Tell him your grievance. Don't tell us. Well, tell us. And you can tell us your grievances by going to brodownpro.com. There's a portal there that you can ask us your own questions, and we promise not to rip you apart too much like we did this poor girl here. Uh, Also, there's another one there if you want to suggest a topic for what do you got because we're always looking for new shit. So go to brodownpro.com today. Do it. But, yeah. So talk to the guy. All right, let's see what the uh, professional has to say here. Dear Taken, please accept my sympathy. Ooh, 
Uh, you have spent the last 15 years with someone who is commitment phobic. When people post that they're in an open relationship, it means that they're interested in exploring other relationships. If what you want is someone to marry, then you are right, if a little late. I'm thinking in thinking about leaving him. The odds that he will give you what you need are slim. Have an honest conversation with Dan about where you are headed as a couple. Thank you. If your visions don't match, move on. Thank you. Yeah. I think she took a little educated guesses there, but she kind of had to because she has to answer the question. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. What, what is your take on the Facebook relationship status it's, thing? It really, the only time I really see it matter is when someone's married to someone. But, like, even then, it doesn't matter. It's not real life. Like, I, there, it, I'll, I'll put it this way. It's different if people are heavy into social media or not heavy into social media. Someone's heavy into social media and they are online yes. a lot. They have a heavy online presence. That I kind of understand because then they are in that world a little bit. And them putting statuses like that does open up or close certain doors for them. But 90% of people that I know of at the very least don't use facebook a ton they're on there occasionally but yeah not. facebook is i use it i the only one i really use is the gram yeah the gram the gram. uh facebook i go on it because like my mom my girlfriend shane will send me like videos and yeah. it, like every time i open it they're like a week old yeah so like i i don't use it all the time i have an addictive personality so i'll find myself scrolling the Facebook feed just because I'm a fucking loser to the point where I wanted to stop. So I unfollowed everybody. I'm still friends with everybody, but there's literally nothing in my Facebook feed, but ads. Yeah. So that way, like, cause I'll sit there at work and I'll just scroll. And I'll be like, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. The, um, the, what you would call it? The, uh, the Facebook status thing. What I, what I don't like about it, is that before Facebook, it wasn't a thing, and yeah. it was fine. Yeah, you had to like tell people you were married, or just not do shit you weren't supposed to do. Yeah, now it's almost like everyone agreed that like it's this level of importance that's put on it. So like if you just are like a casual Facebook user that doesn't use it, it's like you're now you're now like required to like yeah. claim a certain whatever. And I get it, but I just think that it's like, for what? Like, I think that I understand it, but it's the it's the level at which it's taken to sometimes where I'm like, I don't understand that. Yeah, and I think this goes back to like, we've talked about this before. The level of uh, the amount you put yourself out there, the level of uh, privacy you have. Like, yeah. Facebook in and of itself is designed to be your life on a web page for everyone to view. And not everyone likes that. A lot of people like rein it in a lot because you can post everything about yourself there. But so a lot of people don't put anything. They'll occasionally put a picture up or someone will tag them or something. And they'll occasionally post something dumb or chat with friends. But they keep like that part of it on lockdown. So yeah. that's like maybe I don't want the whole world to know that I'm married to so-and-so. Not because I'm not proud of it, but just because it's mine. Like leave me alone. Yeah. Well, you know what? Married, you know but... what really discouraged me from Facebook in a very like I don't know if it's a lazy way or whatever. Lazy. But it's the and this is gonna just hear me out with what just try to I guess like see it from where I'm coming from with this. Okay. So something like uh, someone's birthday, right? You want to reach out and say happy birthday. Okay. It's their birthday. Hey, happy birthday, or whatever. Okay. I've heard like people. Your birthday. Sorry. I've heard people say like, "Oh, that person didn't even say happy birthday to me on Facebook," and more than enough times to where I noticed it. And then it was like, "Well, I'm not going to say happy birthday to them." It's like, it's almost like, like you're upset that somebody that you know maybe very well, maybe not that well. You expect them to know when your birthday was and that they were using Facebook and saw it was your birthday. And then you wanted them to comment on it. Happy birthday. So then it becomes like this 
well, now I have to go on Facebook every day to check when whose birthdays it is. Yeah. And then I have to say happy birthday or I'm an asshole. And then it just becomes like this generic, like glad handing, like, hey, like it's, it's, it's not real. It almost yeah. becomes like insincere. Yeah, I agree with you. It's and, the same thing with giving presents, which is a little bit of a tangent. Yes. When you always have to give a present to someone. I don't like that. No, it takes away from when you want to give someone a present because it's. It's expected. It's expected. I don't like things that are expected like that. I agree. And that's what, that's honestly kind of what made me stop. Like it made me not want to go on there. Yeah. Because it, it almost became like a, not a job, but just like this awkward social requirement where you're like, I have to say happy birthday to everyone I'm friends with on their birthday. Like I'm not expect. like I don't go through when it's like my birthday and like, oh, so and so didn't wish, but like, well, maybe they worked a double shift. You're not yeah. fucking important. Yeah. Like, okay, but like, there is that weird element where people look at it like that. They like, do. They do. Oh, they didn't even like, or all they said was happy birthday. Like, not even an exclamation point. Not even a happy Bro. birthday Bro. emoji. Bro. And you're like, okay, okay, you're thirty. You're fucking thirty. <laughs> you don't get a cake anymore. You don't get fucking toys. Sorry. I just, yeah, that I, I just, I want no part of that, that area of that thing, which is kind of how I feel about the relationship status. It's not as bad because yeah. it's just a one-time thing. And I get it. You want to put your flag up and be like, bitches back off, fuckers back off. Like I'm taken. Here's my fucking flag. But there is that element. It does, it does have a little bit of an element of like, I need to tell everyone what I'm doing, what's in my life, blah, 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 blah. I concur. And that's it. That's my rant. I'm done. <laughs> I want to see what other people think about it. So do and I. And that's you guys. Leave a comment in the section down in the comment section down below to let us know what you think about relationship statuses on Facebook. Say that, that five a, times fast. Yeah, that was that was a fucking time relationship question. statuses on Facebook. Uh, we got this question from Dear Abby. You can find her yourself by googling Dear Abby. She's stuff all over the place. We don't want to just steal from her. You can go find her yourself. She has like two questions a day. It's a fun read. Uh, like I said before, go to BrodownPro.com. Look us up. You can ask us your own questions if you want to. Other than that, we will catch you guys next time. Later, bitches. You're listening to Bro Down Podcast all fucking day.